Hello everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and today we're going to be reacting to Suicide Squad Isekai Official Trailer 3. This came out a couple of days ago, I missed out, I was really busy, I wish I could tell you more about that story, but that's going to have to wait for another time. Uh, but let's get on with this trailer and see what DZ has to offer us here. That's West Side Live. Love the guy. Alright. Press play. Hi, Krinka. Gossam Shti no Hanzayo. Joker no partner. Yeah, I'm just like Marincha. Come on, I'm not going to show you the door. Now the world is a mess. What is it? And I hope the animation looks great. Yeah, it looks great. It's hard. Okay, we got this flag finally. He's looking scrawny at <laughs> okay, this looks really cool. I think there's like an idea of like these characters maybe seeing their own selves in this isekai world. Okay, so I'm still a bit unsure about what the actual plot is, like what's maybe going to be behind the scenes or what subplots are there, and I like that. I just know the main story, they're sent on a mission to this isekai world, how they get there is, for, is to, we gotta wait to see, um, and how the Joker is going to play in this, I'm curious. Because definitely, there they seem to be going for the David Ayer studio version of the relationship where they seem to really do care about each other. But maybe it's going to show that it is abusive like I think it should, in my opinion. Um, but the rest of the trailer seem to be just the Suicide Squad on a mission to this random world. It seems like they're going to be looking at different versions of themselves maybe like there's this character that i just saw in the trailer who's like a princess of sorts a royalty figure who seems to be similar in design to harley quinn and maybe we'll see other characters like that with deadshot or king shark i don't know um as for the other characters i wish we could have seen a little bit more with clayface or deadshot or peacemaker it seems like this show is really hardly in Joker centric, especially from the first teaser. Um, so I'm gonna assume that she is gonna be the main character. Usually with these Suicide Squad movies and stuff, she's like a side character, and the main character is usually Deadshot, really. Um, but it seems like now Harley is gonna be in a Suicide Squad project where she's in the four front as the main protagonist and how that's going to work out that I'm interested to see because she is a wild card she is a character that can flip the switch on a dime and I don't know it sounds interesting and is there a theme song already for it man I'm way behind this trailer I've been so busy but it looks good, the animation looks great, um, the designs I think work very well for these characters and overall I'm just interested to see how 
how DC is going to go for Japanese animation and how this project is going to turn out because they need a big hit, okay? They need something good and unique and I feel like a project like this is going to really help out in the long run and create something really different from what DC usually does. They experimented a little bit with anime style with the old Teen Titans show back in the day which I love and I review that in my second channel when these days I only like reviewed a few episodes a long time ago here in this channel uh, but I'm excited for this this looks interesting I'm very stoked and I hope this turns out very well thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like subscribe comment and I will see you guys next time